Hello, primals. Welcome back to the Thaddeus Mitchell podcast and YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about how God wants you to reclaim your soul from narcissists using humility and reason. Now, we're going to be looking at the book of Job today. And the book of Job is a very peculiar book in the Old Testament because Basically, what happens is Satan makes a bet with God that Satan can turn God's most loyal, faithful person to the dark side, basically. And so the scripture goes like this, and this is from Job 1, 6 and forward. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God, and escheweth evil? And Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast thou, hast not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance has increased in the land. And the Lord says unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. And then Satan goes on and deserts from the presence of the Lord and basically makes Job's life a living hell for who knows how long exactly. But Job basically has a family. He has a great job. (laughs) He has a great amount of responsibilities. He has a lot of great things going for him. And Basically, what happens is that the Lord says to Satan that you can do anything you want to him, but kill him. And I bet that Job will still be faithful to me. Now, that seems peculiar, right? Like, why would God make a bet with Satan to, like, especially about his like most loyal servant? Why would, why would he make a bet with Satan about disrupting the peace of his most loyal servant. It doesn't seem quite right, and it doesn't seem like, it doesn't quite seem reasonable, really. But eventually, as they go on forward into the story, he basically says that there there are, there are ways of life that when like God will allow you to go through emotional pain insofar as you learn the lesson that is to be learned from your experience. And that also there are different kinds of encounters with evil that really should be considered as, well, well, they should be considered sincerely, I suppose. And that the gift that Job is blessed with at the end of the story is he gets everything back to like tenfold. He gets double everything that he had and he gets just everything, but he has to go through, he gets boils from like a disease, you know, and he gets all of these terrible things happening, like the sa- Satan himself influences his wife, Job's wife, to curse the Lord. Lots of random crazy things. And, and Job stays true, even though you can obviously tell that like Job is, he's going through, he, he's going through a lot. And this, to me, just goes to show the, the grace of life itself because life is not always good and it's not always evil it's always kind of somewhere in between and 
though the pol- like the polar opposites of each other balance back and forth for a while. And it it is clear to me that Job has to go through a lot of uh, s- lessons of being humbled before he finally gets to the blessings on the other side, right? And he has to use his reason because his wife tells him to curse the Lord, but that goes against everything he imagines to to have reason for living because for job life it wasn't worth living unless he was living it for the lord and his reason was to serve that which is most high and i want to also now read a bit from romans 28 it says and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. So what does that really mean? It means that every single one of you out there have a purpose. And it's up to you whether or not you are willing to take on the responsibility to rise to that occasion and to commit to that purpose. And that you are likely going to have to go through a lot of crap before you get to the blessings on the other side. But do not deceive yourself and do not hound yourself for not being where you want to be if you're not there today. Because that's part of, that's part of the journey in of itself. And I know that's a very cliche thing to say, but part of the journey itself is when you're able to really look back and you're really able to see like, wow, at least I'm not there anymore, right? At least I'm not there. As bad as things can be today, they were worse back then. And I'm only looking ahead to the future for brighter days on the horizon. So accepting that we're going to make mistakes and then accepting that it's okay to not have things figured out because you, well, you don't need to have things figured out and thank God for that. Because if you did, man, well, if you were God, if you were a God, what would be worth living for? And that's exactly what Satan really does to job here like the only thing satan is doing <laughs> with with his with his being and his essence let's say his essence let's say the only thing satan is doing with his essence is destroying the other the lives of other people <laughs> i mean it sounds a lot like narcissism in a in a nutshell right is like they they don't have lives if everything that you do is to undermine someone else then you're the one without a life, man. You're the one without a purpose. And raising the standard of living to something greater than you is going to produce so much more meaning in your life than trying to destroy what someone else someone else builds. So with that being said, there's obviously still more to say about the book of Job, but I, out of all the people that have reached out to me over the past couple of days, I felt as though this message was, I don't exactly know who it's meant for, but I was moved by the spirit to put this mes- message out there. And I also want to encourage people that you don't have to be stuck if you don't want to be. You can create your own life. And though you may not have all of the tools and all of the things that you want to have, God's already given you everything that you need. So with that being said, I hope you all have a blessed day. And may peace be unto you. Till next time.